Not to get stuck. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another moment episode. No, Crispy is not actually on the beach today. Uh, we are with Big Kansas Outdoors, I believe, and uh, we are goose hunting this morning. Good. What? I'm waiting on you to call him in, dude. Oh, dude, I forgot my call back in the truck. But Are I can do it with my mouth. I'm pretty good. I'm gonna upload a video from YouTube and play it. We spent all this money on these decoys and this blind, and you forgot your call. Like I said, I'm a natural man. I can do it with my mouth. Like, don't worry about it. I got you. I'll bring them in for you. Can we get a preview? Now you're gonna have to wait till they fly in. <laughs> all right, guys, we're all set up in the blind. Uh, they're making some last minute adjustments on the deke. Crispy, get ready, dude. Get ready. Let's get out with the mouth. What was that? I got out late. Yeah, you did. This is what we did this morning. Pretty caked on. So guys, here's the deal. There's still birds landing over there. They're wanting to land in the middle of the field. They are not wanting to come where we are. It is sleeting and uh, they're just not working. So we're gonna come up with another game plan and uh, get back after them either this evening or in the morning. But there's probably, you can't see them from here, but there's probably, I don't know, two or 3,000 birds out there right now. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna change the spread up or if we're gonna uh, move the layout blinds or what, but I will keep you updated. Crispy, uh, he's gotta do a little work on the truck and do a little clean cleaning. And uh, I guess we're gonna go back, take a nap, hang out, chill. And uh, I'll let you know whenever, whenever the uh, plans change. So guys, just a little update. It is the next morning, and uh, we are in a new spot. We didn't come back to the same spot as yesterday. So, a uh, big group of birds just got up. We'll see what happens. Got the decoys out. We're in A-frame again, and uh, we got snow this time. Yeah, we got Not, snow no this mud, time. but we got snow. It'll we'll look snow. it'll look cool if we kill them. So, <laughs> stay tuned.
you guys know you get That's tough right there. Yep, that's out there. Let's kill those guys. I got it. Out there. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty. I'll claim that one. That was pretty. Good shot, Reese. Good shot, brother. Yeah, there's a couple more. Yeah, there's a couple more. Yeah, this is going to be a. Huh? Hello? Oh, get down. Get a dog. Get a dog. Are you going to be busy with that today? Maybe not. They wind kept. Yeah. You think we could probably yeah. crash your place? Good dog. Yeah, the other one's dead, so that's good. That was better. See what? They would have done it. Oh, did you see those three that were just tucked right in? Oh, yeah. We were waiting for the big group to come around. Yeah. We shot six. Yeah, we'll take the six. The <laughs> when it's been a slow morning like that, you take what you It wasn't like they were far. No, I mean, they were. Uh -oh. they were what are these? Yeah. 40 yards, you know. You see those? You, did you see those six I shot with three? Yeah, yeah. You guys saw them. Yeah, you're done then. Pack up. Hey, hey. Oh. We shot like 100. <laughs> 125. <laughs> that's we had 45 birds. That's great. Huh? That's, that's, that's impressive. That's a good dog right there. Year. Look at that. I like your hairdo, bro. You know, this is my morning hairdo. You know, in his mind, mine fires. I paid a lot of money like, for it. So. Any you boys shoot? <laughs> I'm not that cool, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a passing man. Go down. Well, guys, that is a wrap for today. Uh, it was a pretty good morning. We had a bunch of birds working, but. Uh, most of the birds just didn't want to uh, commit so I think we ended up with uh, 10 or 12 birds um, definitely gonna be taking some of this home I want to try out some uh, goose jerky I don't know if I'll do that for this video but that's something that I definitely want to try out so we're getting the trucks about to pack everything up and then uh, I think we're out of here so we're gonna head back to Texas got a few more hunts coming up that we got to get home for so We ended up with nine. I thought we had ten birds. Huh? This has been with uh, Big Kansas Outdoors. Y'all go check him out. What's up? What's His up? link will be in the description if y'all want to come up here and goose hunt. And there was tons of birds. It was just that's hunting. If you've ever been hunting, you know that that is just how it goes. So we're gonna take uh, some of these birds back. I don't know how many uh, how many of these other guys are gonna take, but we're gonna take what we can and uh, we'll clean them up. I think we're headed to Rob's house. Yeah. Um, so may clean them up there. We'll see what happens, but. Um, stay tuned. We will do a cook and clean on these guys. Hey okay, guys, we made it back to Texas. We just got done cleaning off Crispy's truck because it was an absolute mess. Um, took us about 45 minutes just to clean all the mud off of it. But we are on a car wash here in Texas, and uh, it's time to clean these birds. So I'm gonna show you one because um, I need to knock these out quick. I don't know if we can actually do this here. But what you want to do on a uh, goose, same as a duck, come in here with your thumbs. Find that uh, center of the breast and pull down on all four sides till you expose the whole breast. Just push down those feathers. 
all the way around till you can see the whole brace breast. And I'll take my northern knives. This is the Mac. This knife is perfect for uh, ducks and geese because you can get right there on the bone. It's small enough and it's easy to work with. Take your knife blade, go down either side. I'll do that one in a second. And then I like to cut down like that. And then you can just work, work your knife down that bone to the front of the breast. You can follow that breast bone down. And then you wanna just cut all the way through, just like that. And that is a cleaned duck breast, one side of a duck breast. And then uh, do the other side for you real quick. Same thing. Down the middle of the breast. Then I just like to cut that back piece, just what I've always done. You don't have to do that. And then just work your knife blade down to the front. And that is your other side of your, of your, I've been saying duck breast, I meant goose breast, you know what I mean. So that is the basics of cleaning a goose. Um, you can take the legs, we're not going to just because um, we're not. So I'm gonna wrap these up, uh, clean the rest of these guys, and then we are uh, getting back on the road.